Technology Museum here in Helsinki, and this is Eero. He was donated by a local pharmacy, and uh, I think they have plans to reprogram him. But for now, he basically tells you why you shouldn't smoke cigarettes. I was really hoping to see a museum on Nokia, the telephone company, but unfortunately there isn't one. This might be about as close as I get. Some old Nokia stuff here. This is uh, some type of old telephone switching equipment. So Nokia as a company started off uh, making wood pulp and then they got into the rubber business and it wasn't until the late 1970s that they started working on cell phones. I think I had some of these. Here's some of the first Mobira cell phones from the late 70s and 80s. This is the brand that Nokia used before they used their own brand name for cell phones. These are some of the first pagers. This is one of the first fax machines from the early 1950s. You see you can put a photograph here as well as text, and as it spins around, it's transmitted to another machine. In this room they have different kits that were used. This is one of the first televisions and you had to build it yourself. And uh, you can see the cabinet, it looks like it's screwed together. Here's the back of it. And over here we've got some radio kits. I need to build one of these, I think that'd be interesting. Nokia was building computers from 1981 through 1990. Before the introduction of computers, this wall behind me was used to model or mimic the power grid around Finland. So they would use these little plugs that would represent a power line running from one city to another and in that way they could see if there were any problems developing. This is an Edison Dynamo from 1882. It's the first one in Finland. <laughs> so strong. So that's a Fiat? Yeah. We seem to always be riding old elevators. 1920 elevator. And this belongs to the bank here in Helsinki. We're going to take this elevator from 1920. This water treatment facility was built in 1909 for the city of Helsinki, but now it's part of the Technology Museum. In each of these 14 basins, they're filled with about eight feet of sand. And this whole thing would spin and pulling water up through the sand and then it would spill out over this edge. And that was the filtration method they used until it was replaced, I think in the 1980s. 